Hey everybody, welcome to another video. Uh, a while back I did a video on um, video within Reaper. And I got a question from a viewer uh, which reads, I've been using HitFilm, uh, but I'd love to incorporate my video editing into Reaper. Here's a request if you're interested. I'm a guitarist. Usually I record video with my webcam and simultaneously record the audio using Reaper. Could you do an example of importing the video feed from a webcam I don't use the audio from the cam and syncing it with the audio recorded in Reaper. Now, not that many people ask me questions because I don't really have much of a following here on YouTube, but I'll try my best to answer this and I think I have a couple solutions that will work for you. Now, to be honest, I don't normally use Reaper as my main video editor. I use a free video editing program called DaVinci Resolve, which is full featured and honestly pretty much better at everything compared to Reaper as far as video goes. In this video, I'll be going through different ways to sync your high quality audio from your DAW into your videos. Now, the easiest way to sync audio and video uh, is to never have to do it in the first place. And there's a few ways that you can play your instrument or talk or whatever and never have to actually sync anything up in post. I have two ways of doing this, one with hardware and one with software. I'll put time codes below as not to waste your time if you're more interested in one than the other. Let's discuss the software method first. Now, an easy way to do this with like, let's say a webcam, like uh, Chad mentioned earlier, is to use a program called OBS. Now, OBS is used for a lot of things and it's basically like a broadcasting type software. You can use it for streaming or whatever, but there's actually a very easy way uh, with some free plugins that you can sync your audio from your DAW into a webcam video very easily. So first things first, uh, we're going to need a pickle. No, I know what you're thinking. Why do you need a pickle? You don't need a pickle. First, we need a couple of downloads. Head over to the OBS project website and grab yourself a copy of OBS and install it. Next, we need the Real Plugs plugin package for your DAW. Now Reaper has some of these built in and there is the plugin we need in there, but it's not quite the right version. So you still need to download this even if you have Reaper and I'll get into that uh, a little bit later. But the cool thing is uh, this plugin works with any DAW. Now when installing real plugs, make sure that they install in one of the following directories so they are recognized by OBS. Now let's load up Reaper or the DAW of your choice. On the master track of your project, insert the real stream plugin. Make sure it's the real plugs version. Click the checkbox that says send audio and send local broadcast from the drop down menu. If you get any firewall warnings or prompts and junk, uh, just make sure to allow them. This plugin will act like a server and send audio to OBS. Next, we need to make sure that the hardware output channels of your DAW are set to channels one and two. Just make sure the output setting on your DAW matches whatever output routing settings are for your interface's driver or utility. This is gonna vary from interface to interface. Now let's configure OBS. Under the sources, click the plusy plus thingy and select video capture device. From here, you can pick from a list of connected webcams or opt to show your desktop using the display capture option. In the middle window, you can resize things to full screen. You can add more video capture devices for more cameras or another desktop to mix everything together in a pretty straightforward way. Now we need to plug the audio from your DAW into OBS. To do this, click on the plus icon again under sources and add an audio input device. Right click on it and click on filters. From here we can add the RealStream standalone plugin by selecting a VST 2. Point blah 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 plugin. Next, click the button to open the plugin interface. It should be set to receive audio by default. Play your instrument or file within Reaper and you should see the meters activate within OBS and Reaper. By default, OBS adds other audio sources, so make sure you disable things like desktop audio and onboard mics. I also had to mute my line input within Windows sound setting options as it was sending a dry signal with the signal from the amp sim from Reaper. I also recommend changing the output settings in OBS to MP4 
for an easier way to input them into the audio editor of your choice without having to resort to a bunch of conversion nonsense. Now in OBS, if you click record, all the audio that comes from Reaper should route directly into your video, like so. Now let's talk about the hardware method. This method will require a camera or phone with a mic input and a simple hardware mixer. Setting this up is easy. Plug your devices, mics, and whatever into the mixer. Then you can use a 3.5 millimeter cable from your Lixer's line out or headphone port and plug it directly into your camera. I like to use the headphone port with a splitter and a pair of headphones so I can hear what everything sounds like before it hits the camera. Depending on the device, you may also have to adjust levels on the camera or mixer to get your levels from being too low or clipping. If you're using an iPhone, Android, or Windows smartphone, you will need a TRRS cable adapter for this to work. If you're using a camera with a stereo mic input like myself, you can also take advantage of the extra channel by panning two sources on the mixer to 100% to either side. You then have two separate channels you can manipulate and post independently. If you don't have a mixer, you can also output directly from your interface into your camera. Now, another method everyone uses is uh, you just basically take the audio from your webcam or your camera, just the crappy onboard audio, and then you take, uh, at the same time that you record that, you would record uh, something into a DAW or another recording device that would be of higher quality. If you're using DaVinci Resolve, which is free by the way, you can do this very quickly and easily. All you have to do is select the clip with the original camera audio and the audio you want to sync up from another source. Simply right click under the sub menu and select auto sync audio and click by waveform. And like magic, it should line up perfectly as long as your camera's audio is somewhat loud enough and not completely trash. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. And thus ends another video. I normally don't do stuff like this with video editing, but I have some other videos on guitar and music and stuff like that. Either way, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, uh, like and subscribe and uh, share it with your friends if you think it's useful or cool or whatever. Peace out.